Hello. Well, good afternoon. This is Mulligan. Thank you, right on time. Just pardon me for a moment while I clean up my mess. It's a rainy old day, isn't it? A raincoat and umbrella right over there. on a trip for a family through Louisiana. But I can put that aside for our appointment. So, uh, since we last Spoke. I have put together your triptych. Yes, it should be pretty flexible, um, but we do give you direct instructions to get from point A to point B. We do need to go ahead and reserve your accommodations. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand this is a pretty last minute vacation, so we may have a little bit of difficulty with your first couple of choices, but I don't expect We'll have problems finding a place that will suit you, your husband, and your children just perfectly. So, let's see. Why don't we look briefly at the triptych? And then if you need to make any changes to that, uh, we can get right on that. I'm sorry, I'm not the most organized person in the world. But I do love my job. Here is your trip to okay. So
should do it. We'll get that ready for our accommodation. prepared a triptych for you and this is Lake Worth, Florida via the toll road and returning via the Smokies and east coast of Florida to South Bend so uh, just to get you acquainted With the triptych to review any of the uh, explanations here. We'll give you a key to some of the symbols that we use in the maps. You have an area for trip planning and expenses. Now the way a triple A triptych works is quite unique. What we do is map out from your residence to the final destination using what we call strip maps. And in doing it this way, we're able to give you a very up-close look at the state routes and smaller highways, particularly if you want to stop and explore an area or you need to take a detour. And so you will see every step along the way is highlighted in blue. And then you will see an arrow that tells you the direction that we're going when we come into the next map. Also, let me point out that with each strip map, we have information about hotels, motels, restaurants, and service stations in the vicinity of this route. As far as I'm concerned, a trip tick just gives you everything you need to know. Okay, so we start here at your home. We follow the strip map to this point, and you'll see that the orientation of this one changes. And it's longer, so sometimes they fold out. So, again, all you need to do is pay attention to where one map ends and the first point marked on a new map will be the last point marked on 
the previous map. Follow the root. Pay attention to root numbers. The arrow will always tell you what direction you're going. You'll start here, not here. And again, we have a lot of information. Restaurants, service stations, even some information about larger cities that you'll be going through. Note here that we don't use the entirety of every strip map, so sometimes we just need a little section, and then you're going to take an exit and move on to the next map. In this case, we don't have a strip map for this little connector. So at this point, you're going to take that exit and then follow these instructions. From Kankakee Bypass, intersection 111J, and you're going to go for 20 miles. When you move to the next map, you're going to going to be coming in from this direction and intersect here. So it's this connector that we don't really have a map for. Then you'll continue on down. Again, look where the arrow points. Let me just show you uh, one other thing. made some notes occasionally based on my experience in the business and this might either have to do with my own trips or what AAA motor clubs uh, what information they share with one another So for example, in the Evansville to Nashville strip map, I have noted here in red that you'll want to watch your speed. This is a speed trap, so be sure you're paying attention to speed limits there. And then we move on down. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. The direction is pretty much south. 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 <laughs> Not too complicated. Again, though, when you get to a city, uh, sometimes driving into the city and back out of it might take you in a easterly or westerly direction momentarily before we head south again. So do you have any questions about how the triptych works? Review it carefully before you go. I assume your husband will be driving, so it looks like you will be the navigator, and this will be your best friend. Now, one thing uh, that I want to point out 
is the return trip. So as you go south, you're going to see these arrows pointing most of the time. You're going to see them pointing south. And then you are going to reach your destination. And then we repeat that same map, but you'll see the arrow in the blue highlight indicating that this is the beginning of the return trip. So just, it's an easy way to find your way in the book. I'll mark it too. But this is map number 1016 and also map 1016. So that duplication is basically where you turn around. And come home. Now you'll see that the maps for the return trip are not identical to the trip down because you indicated you wanted to come up through the Florida coast and through the Smoky Mountains. And so you'll see that the maps begin to change. You come up through the coast. You get to see St. Augustine if you would like to stop there. That's always a lovely place to visit. So beautiful. Jacksonville. And then and I made some notes for you. In red here, I noted this is a lovely spot to stop for lunch or even overnight if you would like to extend your vacation. Uh, I also just wrote a little note here. There's some beautiful flowers along this road, but some awful houses. Um, so it's a little bit of a mixed bag. But just past that is a lovely spot to stop. And then we move into Tennessee and go through Knoxville and up through the Smoky Mountains. place here to keep track of your mileage, trip expenses, it's very convenient. destination identical maps and so um, West Palm Beach Palm Beach Lake Worth that was your desired uh, destination right have you been there before I think 
you'll enjoy quite a bit. So we're looking for accommodation. We'll start with like worth. Or are you wanting something close to the beach? Like Worth Beach? Palm Beach? West Palm Beach is further away from the beach and is more exclusive neighborhood. So you will find accommodations there a bit more expensive. And you'll find hotels rather than as many motels. So let's see about Palm Beach. looks to me like it might be out of your budget. It includes uh, four pools, tennis courts, shuffleboard courts, badminton courts. That's more of a resort holiday inn. Okay. And then we have Ocean Holiday Resort Motel. This sounds quite similar. Heated pool, putting green, shuffleboard, and picnic area. We are in, even in Palm Beach, we're in an area where people expect resort level amenities. So we may have to go a little bit further south. The Palm Beach Hawaiian Motor Lodge. Um, let's see. This might be an option. Beach Hawaiian Motor Lodge, and that is part of the Quality Courts Motel. So this is for casual or family vacations. Um, it each unit is individually air conditioned. Each unit has free radio and TV, room dial phones, um, 15 minutes from some key sites. And they take Phillips 66, American Express, Diners Club, and Carte Blanche. That looks 
looks like it's going to be 13 approximately $13 a night but we can find out for sure when we call would you like me to check on that one? just a moment Good afternoon. This is Sherry at the South Bend, Indiana Triple A Motor Club. Yes, just checking on availability. This would be two weeks from today. Arrival. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, so they're fully booked. Not a surprise at all, um, but don't worry. We have lots to choose from. We do need to try to go a little bit further south. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, um, anything in Miami, Hollywood Beach. Let's try Fort Lauderdale. And that's a nice family area, I think. Also have some wonderful tours and cruises out of Fort Lauderdale that can take you up and down the coast of Florida. So we've got the Buccaneer Motel. This is uh, brand new in October. The units have tubs and showers, TV, air conditioning, and heat with independent control, which I just think is wonderful. Wall-to-wall -wall carpet, closets, they have a pool and sun deck, shuffleboard background music, and extras such as morning coffee and donuts on the patio. That sounds nice. It's a two minute walk to the ocean and beach, close to shops and restaurants. Jim and Helen Euler are your hosts. Buccaneer Motel. And phone number five two four.
Good afternoon. This is uh, Sherry from the South Bend, Indiana AAA Motor Club. Calling for accommodations. Hi, Helen. Nice to meet you. Yes, this is for uh, sort of a last minute vacation. Arrival would be two weeks from today. Yes, I realize that's very soon. Okay. Uh, do you have any recommendations? Are we... Should we not be looking at anything on the beach, do you think? Further south, okay. All right. Thank you so much for your help, Helen. Bye-bye. Okay, so that one's not available, but she did recommend that if we went further south, we might still be able to find accommodation directly on the beach or a block away from the beach. Let's see. The Burnt Flamingo Motel, and this one is on South Dixie Highway, 28 units, it's quiet and back from the highway, um, carpeting, phones, air conditioning, and heat. TV, tub, or shower. Most units with two double beds. Um, f five minutes to... Oh, you don't need the airport. Um, beaches, golf, churches, and shops are five minutes away. Triple A recommended. Paul and Nancy Begro are the owners and hosts. Let's try for the flamingo. Okay. Good afternoon. This is uh, Sherry from the South Bend, Indiana AAA Motor Club calling for accommodations. Yes, unfortunately we've been having a little bit of difficulty because this is a bit of a last minute vacation, a family vacation two weeks. Do you have anything available in two weeks? Really? That's wonderful. They just had a cancellation. question is, is it available for two weeks? Arrival would be two weeks from today.
Wonderful. That's wonderful. They have it. Okay. So we ideally need a room with two double beds. This is a family of four. Just a moment, please. So this is going to be eleven fifty per night. Yes, two beds. And how is that room situated? Does it have an ocean view? Uh, street okay this is a poolside view that'll be fine all right Yes. This will be for Mr. and Mrs. Frank Mulligan. Mary. And their address is Twenty two forty three Thompson Street South Bend, Indiana. My name is Sherry. I'm at the South Bend AAA Motor Club, correct? And our phone number is 437-6151 And that's area code 325 So that's $151 for the room. Okay, that's a total of $154.45, correct? All right, well, if you can hold that for us. I'll put the booking information in the mail today. That sounds very good. I'll let her know. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Well, I think you're going to like the Flamingo Motel. They are quite personable. So after you leave, I'll type up um, 
your accommodations and then you will pay when you check out. Yes. Um, good question. Take um, Philip sixty six uh, Diners Club American Express. You can always take some traveler's checks as well. That's what I like to do just for the accommodations. I know exactly what that's going to be. And I can tuck those safely away for the duration of the trip. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else I can do for you today. some additional brochures for attractions in the area. You can stop by anytime. I'll be here. All right. Well, Mrs. Mulligan, here is your triptych. And after I type up the uh, booking, I'll mail you your receipt and uh, get that booked through the mail with Flamingo Motel. So you'll have everything you need here, uh, except for the booking information, which you'll get in the mail probably tomorrow or the next day. Very good. It's been wonderful working with you on your family vacation. I know you'll have a wonderful time in Florida. There's nothing like spending some time on the beach with your children. Bye-bye.